G'day, I'm Tim from Oricom. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new 80 channel standard in UHF CB and some particular channels you need to be aware of. With the new 80 channels, there's always going to be a clear channel for you and your mates to communicate on. But you need to be aware there are some channels you need to either stay off or only use in particular circumstances. And also just be aware that on some channels, you're going to get some colourful language to say the least. Probably the most important channel for you to be aware of is channel 5 and channel 35. Channel 5 duplex in some areas is a monitored emergency channel and it should only be used in emergency circumstances. So if you're not sure if it's actually operated and monitored in your area, please stay away from that channel. It shouldn't be used for general communications. And the reason I mentioned channel 35 as well is generally channel 5 is a duplex channel. So when you transmit, you've got channel 5, you, when you're actually transmitting on your radio, it's transmitting on 35 to receive on 5 to increase the range to make sure it covers as much area as it can. So please only use channel 5 and 35 in an emergency situation. The other channel you should probably be aware of is channel 40. Now generally across Australia, channel 40 is your truckers or transport channel. Fantastic to listen to, to know what's happening on the roads, to know where there's any traffic jams or where things are going slow and why. But really you want to be careful and you want to be aware that if you've got kids in the car, it can get pretty colourful from time to time. Just be aware that also between Brisbane and Sydney, that transport channel is actually channel 26 as well. So 40 and 26 can get colourful from time to time. The other channel you might want to be aware of is channel 18. Now channel 18 is generally your caravanning convoy channel. So you'll find if you've got your UHF operational, you're coming up behind a caravan, generally you'll be able to contact him on channel 18. Bit of courtesy, let them know you're coming round. They'll let you know what's coming ahead, let you know if the road's clear. Really good means of communication. Channel 12 is generally your calling channel. So if you are looking for your mates, what you do is you get on channel 12, you key them up, but Use some courtesy, once you do get together, once you start communicating, move off to another channel and leave channel 12 clear for someone else to call up. Another channel you need to be aware of is channel 30. Now channel 30 is generally your local broadcast channel. So people like RFS will use channel 30 to warn of local emergencies, weather situations. Again, generally you don't want to communicate on channel 30, keep it clear. You do want to keep listening in, so if there's something happening in your area, you generally will find some communication on channel 30 about that. The other channels to be aware of is your duplex channels. Now, now duplex is a means of extending your communication. If there's a local repeater in your area, what you'll be able to do, if your signal hits that repeater, you'll be able to actually shoot up to it and it will rebroadcast your communication out. So what you find is repeaters are generally in high areas. You'll find your communication will be extended. Some repeaters can get up to 60 or 70 kilometres. Now repeater channels or duplex channels are channels 1 to 8 and they align with channels 31 to 38. So when you actually are on channel one duplex and you communicate, your transmission goes from your radio to the repeater on channel 31 and then gets rebroadcast out on channel one. With the new 80 channel standard, we've also got duplex channels 41 to 48 and they align with 71 to 78. Duplex really is a fantastic way of increasing the range of your radio and being able to talk over a much larger distance. I'm Tim from Oricom. If you want any more information about UHF CB, please follow the links on the Four Wheel Drive TV website.